Tom, good to see you, brother. What up, bro? All How right? you? You back at your business. I see you doing your thing in Smallfoot right now. Yeah, yes, sir. Animated movie, man. But tell me how much of Common, the real Common, is in your uh, animated character, the Stonekeeper. Well, you know, at first I was like, okay, I got to figure out how to create this character and what this voice is going to sound like. And then eventually, as I was working with the director in the booth, it's like we working in the booth to yeah. a lot of it came out like that I, I could have that my voice and my sound, but then I had to bring a little bit of something different because the character is really big and he, he wears <laughs> these like stones on his body. Right. Um, and two, he's, he has like he has this thing where he's like a high priest, the leader, but he also is a politician. Right. And that, that ain't my thing. So I kinda had to find that inspiration. Yeah, that inspiration, which yeah. I which I love in you know, as an actor and even doing that as a voice actor, you, I love finding characters and doing things that's not just me. Right. You know, yeah. The movie's based on uh, a world of Bigfoots yeah, yeah. that are looking for evidence of a human that they refer to as a small foot, small right? Foot, yeah. So it's an animated world, obviously, but I wanted to ask you, do you believe that there's a world out there beyond what we see on this earth? Um, I actually do believe it could be life some in other places beyond the planet Earth. Um, I don't think about big big <laughs> Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But just, you know, just the other day I just was looking and, and seeing some things that I was like, wow, you never know what these things symbolize, like even the pyramids, you know. And, yeah. And so I do believe it could be life beyond the planet Earth. Yeah, no, no question. Yeah. And movies like this is good because it kind of taps into the uh, imagination, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And even as adults, sometimes we could lose that. But tell us why like young kids and adults should come out to check out a movie like Smallfoot. Well, you know, first it's like, for me, it's, it's a, a story that's animated. It's a children's story, but it has those lessons of life that we need it, no matter what age you are. Because this movie is like, the whole thing is like, don't just accept what the system is talking about. Don't right. just accept what, like, politics or the or the government says or you know the society is telling you to be because right. you know the, the whole time the, the the bigfoot the yetis are saying is no such thing as human beings no such thing as small foots and and then it's my character is trying to keep pushing this whole idea about the stones and and we got to follow the laws of the stones but you know Channing Tatum's character and, and and Zendaya's character they challenge that whole system right and that's what the movie is about so I feel like as a, as a kid to get that type of like reinforcement that yo you got to listen to yourself and your voice and you can be an individual mm. and just not follow everything that society is saying mm. to be able to think for yourself is a great lesson for kids to get but I, I need to be reminded of that <laughs> yeah, sometimes, right. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> sometimes we lose our innocence yeah, and we forget, yeah. you know, we do have an inner drive. Yeah, and, it, and it's fun. It's, a, it's about fun at the end of the day. No you know? question. All right, so you mentioned Zendaya. You mentioned that the movie is about kind of pushing back against the system a little bit. Yeah. You also had LeBron James in the movie. Yes, sir. You're in the movie. All yeah. of you guys kind of represent, you know, pushing forward and representing for black people yeah. in general. You know, any, any good conversations happen on the set about uh, well, where we are as a people in this world right now? Well, you know, Actually, to me and LeBron, like when we were doing this this photo shoot, um, LeBron was like, "Look, man," I said, "Man, I'm so happy and proud of you." And he was like, "Man, we are going forward, man, and that's this is what we supposed to do. Yeah. Like, this is what he was basically like. This is what I'm here to do. Like, you know, I know basketball is is his gift and his platform, but he was like, man, he he here to like improve the world and Word. improve our community and just." you know, bring people together, to be honest, man. And, and it was dope to hear that. And Zendaya is always, like, we, we did some press promo stuff, and she just was, you know, she just real with it. She talked, you know, that she from Oakland. She talked to, the, you know, being aware of blackness all the time. And, like, I love that. And I feel like we should be able to, that just because we embrace who we are as people of color, as black people, doesn't mean we knock other nationalities. We right. show love for them, too, but we got to love our communities and uplift them too. So I love this Zendaya. I'm geeked to be in a movie with LeBron and yeah. Zendaya and uh, you know Yara, Yara uh, Shahidi's no in it and um, you know Channing Tatum doing their thing too. Appreciate what all of y'all doing. You're still putting on for the city of Chicago. Yes, yes, Small foot in theaters. People need to go check it out, man. Appreciate your yes, time. Sir. Good looking, Kyle. My man. Uh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah.